The next person I'd like to introduce to you is an individual who knows a little something about serving the United States of America in uniform and in the halls of the Congress. From Minnesota's 2nd Congressional District, Congressman John Klein. Thank you, Don. Thank all of you for letting me have the honor of standing here in front of you today. I want to say to the Red Bulls, uh, congratulations on your fantastic, fantastic success in Iraq. And to the Red Bulls, thank you for your incredible surface, service and sacrifice. I think that we are blessed here, and you have been blessed with some unbelievable leadership, and I want to thank them. Here in Minnesota, we had Governor Pawlenty and the First Lady and the greatest tag, General Shelato, and the entire National Guard. And you had, you Red Bulls had, in Iraq, as fine a commanding general as can be found in Rick Nash. And I want to thank them here publicly in front of you. They are fantastic. But I mostly, they deserve the applause. I mostly wanted to take just a minute, and it really will be not much more than a minute, to speak to the families. I was uh, thinking and think about it a lot. Uh, my son is in the Army. I sometimes have a hard time explaining how that can be with my years in the Marine Corps. I've been told it was a failure of my leadership, but I'm, I'm not sure. But obviously, I think about my son a lot. He is now about three weeks into, in, in Iraq in his third combat tour. And I can tell you from firsthand experience that my grandchildren miss their dad. And so to the families, I want to say, I know you've missed dad or mom or son or daughter. You've missed them terribly. Your heart has ached. And now you should feel the joy flow through you. We, like you, are so happy that the men and women of the Red Bulls are home with us, with you. And so to the Red Bulls, I just want to close with thank you and welcome home. <laughs>